Also, Pascagoula City Government is looking to the future with multiple projects on the horizon designed to better house city operations. WXXV News 25's Lucas Warren was in the flagship city to talk to leaders about how these projects will impact municipal services. Thank you. In 2023, Governor Tate Reeves signed off on more than $10 million for Pascagoula projects, and the city just announced that the construction of a new city hall building is going to be one of the first projects using said funds. Renderings released for the $2 million project shows a new two-story, 20,000 square foot building located on Dock Street. The Joe D. Cole Jr. Municipal Building, which has served as the current City Hall building for over 70 years, is a much smaller 60,000 square feet. The new City Hall building will also serve as the central location for Pascagoula departments with the utilities department, among others, being moved to the new building. While there isn't necessarily anything wrong with the current building, Pascagoula Mayor Jay Willis says the new building will go a long way enhancing Pascagoula as a city and for its residents. 30 years ago or so, we outgrew this building. We may do by having city services relocated to other areas around town. Now we are in a situation where we have an opportunity to build a new city hall on the riverfront just west of where we're standing now in downtown and it's going to allow us to consolidate all of our city services that currently are spread over four locations around town. The new city hall building is just one project on the docket for Pascagoula as they use the $10 million project budget from Governor Tate Reeves. We're going to build a new substation on the corner of Chico and O-Mobile that will provide services for that area, something we've needed a long time. That area of town around Chico and O-Mobile Highway has uh, deteriorated and, and had some, more, some problems in enforcing crime out there and allow our officers to have a real presence in the East Pascagoula area. Even though renders of the new building have been released, the bid process isn't expected to start until mid-November. The city of Pascagoula expects the building to be ready by mid-2026, so be sure to check with WXXV News for more updates. Until then, reporting where you live in Pascagoula, Lucas Warren, WXXV News, 25.